Hello everybody, I hope you're alright. We've been doing quite a bit of geocaching recently, so we thought we'd take you on one of our geocache trails. There's 14 on this one, isn't there? It's 14. Uh, where are we? The Warren Lodge in Milden Hall. So, very pretty. Great day, it's not too warm, nice and cool. There's maybe some really, really cool caches on this one, so I'll, I'll talk you through them all as we go through, yeah? Cool. Oh, there it is, I can see it. Sticker flash right there, yeah? There you go. They've hidden that one really well. <laughs> They've really hidden that one. Good, good find, Ben. Good job, let's have a look. Oh, it's a little tub. Beautiful. So, number two. The clue for this one is all knotted up, and this is very difficult. Does that look like the galaxy like kind of place should hide something, right, Ben? Yeah. All these little knots, and we're just assuming that it's gonna be in one of these somewhere, but we just don't know which one. It could be absolutely in any one of these knots, and I'm really struggling to find it. You got it? It was right at the start, what? Where is it? Shut up! Wow! That is an incredible, incredible catch. This is such a good hiding spot. Good spot, babe, well done. Right, on to number three. Okay, so this one, so this is the Warren's Lodge we're coming up to, yeah? Yeah, there should be an information board somewhere. Okay. Cool. And then we have to get the numbers on that to unlock the lockbox and number eight, right? Yeah. Okay. It's really pretty. It's been a great walk so far. I found some wonderful wood ear fungus. We found the information board. There's a lot of numbers on this, so we've recorded them all down. There's a lot of information down here as well. Uh, really interesting information boards on the trail so far, they've been quite fun. Uh, right over there is the lodge, which is beautiful. Look at that. But then Ben, hilarious, I was like, I was like where's the cache nearby? And he said, I can see it. And I went, what do you mean you can see it? And then he pointed out to me, it's right here. I couldn't even see it. Good spot, babe. Good spot. Another info board means we're near another geocache. There's GPS points over here, but Ben, very awesomely, as he always does, has a better eye than me. There's always these paths on geocaches where people have walked. So we know it's over here somewhere, so let's get hunting. The clue is sometimes in the title as well, and this one's called Amanita Mascara, which is that really popular, you know the generic mushroom that's like red with white dots that fairies sit on? I can see it. This is incredible. This is one of my favourites that we've had today. It's like a little uh, homemade cache. It looks like a little Amanita Mascara mushroom. Oh, oh! <laughs> so, just in case the camera didn't pick that up, I've caught my breath now. Um, underneath this, when I lifted it up, there was a fake spider on a string and it touched my finger. Um, which made me jump quite a bit. That was quite a. That happens quite. That's not the first time we've had a spider jump scare, actually, is it, Ben? So, uh, but it's the first time it's happened to me, and Ben doesn't usually get quite as frightened as I did. But there we go. We've wrote in the log. We've put it back. I will be leaving a very angry log comment on this one, but definitely worth a favourite point. This was definitely 
one of the best ones so far. Four out of 14, yeah? yeah. Ten more to go. So over here is a multi-cache. Jay's seen this one before, I haven't, but the uh, the hint was high voltage and magnetic. I, yeah, I've seen a couple of these ones before, and it's, which you don't think you should be removing, but it has coordinates for part two of the multi-cache there. There you go. So this is stage two of the multi-cache. This one was a bit of a challenge to find. Uh, with multi-caches, oftentimes it'll give you coordinates to a random location. But we found it. It's over here. It was hard. Yeah. Very well hidden. They weren't doing us any favors. Oh, cool little mushroom in it though, yeah? Yeah, uh, it's like a battery. Oh, the clue was truly shocking. Oh, yeah. I get it. That would make sense. Okay, okay, fair enough. Good find, babe, good find. found the next cache, and it requires a tool. So Jay's gonna try to get it off. I mean... It's not that high up, but... <laughs> oh, <I> mean... <laughs> there you go. It's a little pine cone. So, this one, the hint is bolt in, bolt out. So we saw the bolt really quickly, but there was nothing in there. And then Ben was like, I bet you there's a hole somewhere else. And he found it over here. It's magnetic, that one's really cool, I like that one. Good stuff, halfway through. Can I grab lunch on this bench? A little snack, yeah? <laughs> Number eight that we're coming up to, Ben has found. This one required the number from number three, uh, the information board. Ben's already sussed this out, I believe. So what was it, 19? 14. Or 14? 89. 89. Cool, good find, babe. Okay, that was number 11, was it then? Yes. Yeah, number 11, and then there's two more actually. I thought there was 14 overall, um, but it ends at number 13. I think either number 14 sadly been dismantled, or uh, earlier on there was a number 2A that Ben found on his own. Uh, it wasn't part of the main series, it was a bit of an offshoot. It was when I found all that um, wood ear fungus, and I was too busy picking all that and being attacked by ants. Oh, Ben ran off for 2A. But number 12 here is meant to be a really, really special one. It's called the Enigma Machine. Like the the World War... Yeah, the World War II, the World War II uh, machine. Built by Alan Turing. Alan Turing, oh yeah. He's on the 50 pound note now, isn't he? Uh, might be. I'm pretty sure he is. I can't remember if he's on the 50 or the 20. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's on the 50. But this one's going to be really cool. So we'll update you when we get there. We've done a couple of quick fire ones there. And these are the final two. This one's going to be really cool. So. Let's do it to it, Ben. <laughs> so basically, this is a little Enigma box. Uh, it's got about 64 different uh, outcomes, whereas the original Enigma machine was over one trillion. Uh, this was pretty easy to crack, um, but as you can see, it switches in a certain order. You'll have a code that pops up, 1368. 
There we go. Good job. Get the catch. There you go. <laughs> pill bugs. Oh, it's a pill bug? Yeah. I'm so tired of jump scares on this geocache. <laughs> that was a real pill bug. Why did you throw it on me? <laughs> I didn't throw it on me. <laughs> Good job, Ben. Good job. Right, there we go. That was, uh, we did find 14, but one of them was off camera. So 13, we'll say. Uh, this is a really good trail. How long was that? Maybe like two hours? Yeah, two, two hours or so? Uh, it's probably one of the better, better trails. We've done some really, really good caches, some good hides. A lot of jump scares. Not a big fan of that. No, uh, but we're gonna go home now. We're gonna go watch Eurovision tonight. So there's an idea of how long it's gonna take me to, to edit. Tons of fun, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, we're going to be going to a couple of festivals in the summer and we're also going to Europe uh, in autumn, so we're going to be recording all that as well. Yeah. Take care, bye-bye.